Hey, this is Nick. Earlier I made some videos about how to send email from Excel, and those were pretty popular videos, but one of the questions uh, and comments that I got a lot was, is there a way to add attachments to an email from uh, your Excel spreadsheet, or use for your Excel macro? Um, so today I'm going to show you how to do that. So two of my most popular spreadsheets are my Super Bowl Squares game and my College Football Bowl Pick'em game. So I'm going to use the Super Bowl Square spreadsheet. Uh, this is an example of one of the requests I get for the Super Bowl sheet and the College Football sheet is how can I share the results uh, with other players? Like, um, So in this example, I'm going to show how we can take an image of the scoreboard and how you can automatically send that out to um, all your players. So the first thing I did was make a new um, send scoreboard sheet. So here um, for the Super Bowl squares, you can have up to 100 players. So this is where you would enter all the players' email addresses. So somewhere on the sheet, you got to have a list of email addresses, and that's what's going to be a, sent out by the macro. Um, so next, um, th there's multiple ways to attach an image into an email. Uh, like one method is you have to have save the image on the network somewhere, and then if you know that location, you can insert it. Um, I will link to that how to do that method in the description below. But today I'm going to show you how you can just copy and paste a picture so that you don't need to save the file anywhere. So for my example, let's say I, I want to share this the scoreboard with all the people playing this game. So first thing I'm going to do is make a linked uh, image. So I go to my scoreboard, I select. Um, what I want to send out to people, what I want them to see. So you can see this area that's selected, right click, copy, go to my sheet over here, and I right click, and go to paste special, and go to linked picture. So now this picture, as we can see, is directly taken from the squares. Um, so if I go and change the squares so I change the squares sheet if I go over here the image updates automatically so I think if I just type in something here it should show up over here so that is a linked picture so we're just going to copy and paste this picture into the email but there's a couple tricks you got to do um, so the first thing is we want to name this picture so that the macro knows how to find it. So you go to page layout, selection pane. So you can see there's already a button here that I already added, a checkbox. I'll explain in a second, and then this picture. Right now it's picture six, but I want to rename it preview one. That's why That way I know what it's called so I can refer to it in the macro that I've written. So again, that's a selection pane. Um, so that's, I think, all the input. So we have the image, we're going to have where the list of emails, and I've included this checked out, uh, checkbox. So if you go to developer, insert, ActiveX, checkbox, let's say you add a checkbox to the spreadsheet. It's the same, that's also how you add a button. And you can right click and assign a macro to it. So next is writing the code, which I've already done and I included uh, in, a, in an article, which I will link to below so that you can have the entire code and you will be able to download this sheet as well. So if we go over to macros, here's uh, the macro. So let's run through it quick, um, optimize the speed, then we define the workbook, uh, define the where this workbook is saved and what the name is, that will come up in the email. Uh, so then you so you can see here this is the loop that goes through this column one and gets all the email um, addresses so if it's empty it just skips it if not then it adds it and then i also have a counter here every time it adds an email so that way it knows like it'll tell you i'll show you in a second it shows you like okay it's going to send it to the message box email will be sent to 
three, in this case, three people. So this could be one plus one plus one. Um, so next, uh, so I believe this only works with Outlook because I'm opening the Outlook object. Uh, I haven't tried it with any other email uh, applications. So Outlook. Um, so this is where, in terms of the copying the image into the email, here's where the magic happens. So we take the, we're looking at the, the send scoreboard sheet. And then we get the shapes and then preview. See how we named the image preview one? That's where this comes into play here. So then we're just basically copying the picture here. So then later on, we will be simply just pasting that image uh, into the email. So again, I've explained how to make an email from Excel and other videos. You can examine this code for yourselves. But this one, I basically have, have two different versions. That's what this checkbox is for. If, if the checkbox is clicked, it will include a link to this uh, spreadsheet. Um, but if it's not clicked, it will not. So that's what this, this is a simple if then statement here. And then with the HTML code. And then the, the other trick then of copying an image or shape into um, an email is this right here. So you actually have to call this word editor in order to insert it. You can't just simply paste it into the email. So that's a little trick that's explained more in the article. So that's probably enough of me talking. Let me show you how this works. Hopefully this works. Let's try. If I take design mode off, I can unclick the link. So I should let's try it. Email will be sent to three recipients. And there's the email. So hello everyone. Scoreboard has been updated. Here's the image copied right from Excel. Here's the three emails. So if I add more emails and if I click the button this time, there should be an email link uh, to here. And again, let's just go and Change the image there, the image updates over here. Click the button, will be sent to four people. And the email pops up. There's the new image, our message, and the link to the spreadsheet. So there you go, that's how you uh, send or attach images or shapes to an Outlook email from Excel. So thanks for watching. Uh, again, I'm gonna include the article in the description below. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And any comments, questions, or suggestions, uh, let me know in the comments. See you.